Hey, you know what? You take it. Thanks. Wait a minute. You're Jody Brownlee. <laughs> oh, this is a real treat. I've seen you cheerlead dozens of Bulls games. <laughs> you know, you have a God-given talent. Well, I worked hard at it. I was referring to your legs. I worked hard at this, too. <laughs> Just a sec. Before you get into the cab that I so graciously offered you, I was wondering if you're not busy tonight, will you marry me? <laughs> I usually prefer dinner first. Really? You know, 8 o'clock works for me, because if that works for you, I know this great Italian restaurant. <laughs> Whoa. Who are you? Jay Frazier. Born and raised in Chicago. Gainfully employed. Uh, single. College educated. Single. <laughs> Did I mention I was single? Yes, but you didn't have to. It's right here on your card. <laughs> oh, well, you know, that's magnetized. You can stick that on your fridge. <laughs> How about drinks instead of dinner? Say, O'Malley's 10 o'clock? You know what? I'll head down there right now. You get there when you can. <laughs> can't believe, can't believe how the world has changed. Feeling good all my life and I'm reaching for my dreams. I'm missing. Seems like the whole world's Who I have a date with tomorrow night. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Let me guess. Don't mm -hmm. tell me. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Uh huh? Uh huh? I got it. I got it. I'm just kidding. I got nothing. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna help you out. Think back to your teenage bedroom, the post over your bed. You are not going out with Pamela Anderson. No. No, 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 no. The other wall, next to your shirtless poster of David Hasselhoff. <laughs> it was a Knight Rider poster. I was into his car. And he wasn't shirtless. He had on a mesh tank top. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Next to David, there was... Jody Brownlee, the 1991 Bulls Cheerleader Rookie of the Year. Had drinks with her last night. <laughs> no, this is not true. Gordon, you know me. Look at my face. Am I lying? <laughs> Good Lord, it's true. You are amazing. <laughs> Just like a teenage fantasy come true. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, <laughs> Uh, honey, what, what'd you do to your hair? Do you like my new wig? When I saw it at the store, it just seemed to call out to me, take me home, Sherry, take me home. That's funny, because all I seem to hear is, take me. <laughs> what do you think, Jay? I don't know, I'm thinking street. You know, street. nobody really cares what you think. In fact, I hope you have luck with the cheerleader thing, and I hope you make the squad. Oh. <laughs> what was that about? I forget. Let's just talk about you, Scully. Scully? Yeah, you look like Agent Scully from the X-Files. Really? You really think so? Let's go to the bedroom. The truth is in there. <laughs> I got out of cheerleading in 95, and now I'm sponsoring a line of cosmetics. I'm in love. Look at her eyes, like dark little pools just waiting for me to jump in. Yeah, that's smooth. Hey, I should share that. You know, Jody. Yes, Jay? I have to be honest with you. Your eyes are like dark little pools of stuff. Oh, that's my mascara. It's our new product. Oh, okay. I don't think it's gonna make the cut. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Oh, she touched my hand. Mm. Hey, buddy. Is that Jody Brownlee? Oh, yeah, we're on a date. So if you could excuse us. Appreciate that. You are on a date with her? Man, you must be incredibly rich or something. <laughs> no. Actually, I'm just a regular guy. My God, you're one of us. Hey, would you wave to my friends over here? Oh, yeah, what's happening, fellas? <laughs> Jay? Yeah? I've been thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm having so much fun. I don't want the night to end. Now, did you just say that, or was that just in my head? <laughs> <laughs> I usually don't do this until the third date, but... I don't know. It feels right. Would you like to come back to my apartment? 
Okay, yes, 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 okay. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Those are some fans of yours. Immature behavior, if you ask me. <laughs> so, uh, last night was fun, huh? Gordon, come on. Last night was a one-time thing. I don't want to make a habit of it. No, no, I just think I should be able to buy Agent Scully a little dinner. <laughs> just dinner and that's it? Oh, just dinner. A simple meal. Okay. I do feel kind of sexy wearing this. Mulder. <laughs> Why don't you make yourself comfortable, Jay? Mm. I'll be right back. Mm. I'll be right here. <laughs> okay. Stay cool, smile a lot, and try not to say too much. Before you know it, you will be a legend. Jay? Yes, baby? Ah! This is my daughter, Tiffany. Oh, <laughs> hey! Are you positive? Why don't you two get acquainted while I pay the babysitter? Oh, okay, okay. Ah! <sighs> So, you're the new guy. You no, know, you can call me Uncle Jay if you want. Why? You're not gonna be around that long. <laughs> Meaning what exactly? Well, the first question Mom's gonna ask me is, what do you think of him? If I say you're a creep, you're a toast. Now, why would a sweet young lady like yourself do a nasty little thing like that? Because that way, you do whatever I want. <laughs> So it looks like you two are getting along. Oh, well, we definitely seem to have come to an understanding. She's something. <laughs> I'm very talented. Tiff, why don't you sing do up thing for Jay? You like Lauren Hill? I love Lauren Hill. Really? She's at the Mayfair tomorrow night. If you really like my mom, you'll take us. Honey. <laughs> You should wait for Jay to offer. Yes. I'm sure he was going to. Oh, of, of course. You know, I would love to take you both. Sadly, mm, that concert has been sold out for weeks. Uh-uh. I heard on the radio that they're releasing 100 tickets tomorrow. So, look, if, um, if I took you and your mommy to that concert, would that put a smile on your face? It's a start. <laughs> to call Susie. She'll be so jealous she'll have to double up on her riddling. <laughs> Jay, I love seeing Tiffany so excited. Yeah, it's just great. It's great. I have to think of a special way to reward you. Mm. Mm hmm Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Frazier! You were fabulous. Hey. I just work with what God gave me. <laughs> After a night of passion with Jody Brownlee, I feel like there's nothing left for me to accomplish. I can now walk away from the game that I love. your great achievement, tonight we permanently retire your pajama top. Mm. No man's ever stood in line all night for me. All night? <laughs> Nobody said anything about all night. Hey, people are already in line. You better get moving. You know, you, you can also buy the CD, because Jay is not standing in somebody's line all night long. It's cold out there. Oh, don't worry. Mommy can make you lots of coffee. And I can make you toast. <laughs>
Oh, Jay, excuse me. Hey, came as soon as you called. I called you nine hours ago. Yeah, well, Shari and I were starring in the Triple X Files. <laughs> Just when I thought I could get any more uncomfortable. Do you mind? I'm a grandma. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Come to think of it, you don't look like your typical Lauren Hill fan. Oh, well, I'm just picking up some tickets for some other people. Uh, actually, Lauren is not really my taste. I like to kick back and put on some Snoop Dogg and roll a fatty. <laughs> what? I got glaucoma. Uh, what is it about cheerleaders anyway? I don't know. I think it's the short skirts, the ankle socks, and the fact that they can bend like a pipe cleaner. Yeah, that must be it. Okay, you're next. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, uh, bad break. <laughs> hey, 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 man, come on! I can't believe this sold out! This can't be! We've been waiting in line all night! How'd you get all those tickets? There's a four-ticket limit. In my line of work, you develop box office connections. Tickets, I got them. Tickets, who needs them? You're scalping tickets! No, I waited in line all night so I can give them away for free. <laughs> all right, look, just give me three. That'd be 600 bucks. 600 bucks? That's my rent. <laughs> what kind of crappy neighborhood do you live in? <laughs> JJ, I got it. Seriously, back up. Okay. All right. I got $400 here, so I say you hand over five tickets, and I think I'm being more than fair. 400 bucks gets you two tickets. I don't negotiate. Apparently, neither do I. <laughs> well, Shari and I are in. All right, look, go ahead. Give me the three tickets. Oh, darn. I'm short. Gordon, let me two bills. Great. Now, I'm broke and you get the girl. Yeah, it kind of reminds you of high school, doesn't it? <laughs> right. Hello, Jay. Hello, Tiffany. Did you get my email? Yeah, I got your email. Limo's downstairs. Excellent. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? Everything's set. Limo's downstairs. I got the tickets, and Tiffany and I have been bonding like crazy glue. Isn't that right, Tiffany? That's right, Mommy. Watch this. Jay, put your hands up like bunny ears and hop. She can't make me do that, can she? Actually, yes. One hour every day is Tiffany time. She gets to be in charge. Get out of here. It's good for my self-esteem. What about my self-esteem? I'll take care of that after the concert. I said a hip, huh? A hip, huh? Hey! I think you make a cute bunny. Oh, I think I just pulled a hammy. <laughs> oh, I'll go get my doctor's kit. Might need a shot. Here, let me rub that. Oh, okay, all right. You know, I was uh, wondering, Jody, you wouldn't happen to have any of those cheerleading outfits of yours around, would you? Several. Mm, it's just like I imagined it. <laughs> That's Daddy. He's much better looking than you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Daddy? Your ex is here? Sure. He visits all the time. You're okay with this, right? Oh, I'm fine. He's the one that's gonna be uncomfortable when he sees a new rooster in the hen house. <laughs> Hey, sweetheart. Oh, wow, he is good looking. You look fantastic. <laughs> What's up, man? Jay Frazier, and you are doing a whole lot better than me. Tony, this is my friend Jay. Jay, this is my ex husband, Sergeant Tony Harrison. Sarge? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, what was with all that kissing? You didn't show this guy the divorce papers? Hey, honey, I want to take Tiffany to the zoo tomorrow. Can I spend the night? Of course. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on here? Second date, I meet your kid. Third date, I meet your ex-husband. What's the fourth date? I get to meet your parole officer? Tony being here is a good thing, Jay. Why, in case the Canadians evade? <laughs> 
No, after the concert, we'll drop Tiffany off with Tony and we'll tool around in the limo in the back seat with a little divider window up. Okay, Tiffany, concert limo is leaving. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And we don't even have to stay that long. All our songs sound the same anyway. Come on, come on. Hey, hey, listen. Yeah, yeah. You better take care of my girls tonight. I know ten ways to kill a man silently. Oh, well, you're a tough guy, huh? Well, I stood in line for tickets all night. And it got pretty nippy. Real sweater weather. You know, Jody, I thought we were going to take uh, Tiffany home after the concert and go for a little drive. Do not rush me. Jay, don't be in such a hurry. This is Tiffany's special night, her first concert. Yeah, well, I was kind of hoping it would be a first for us, too. Don't worry about a thing. Remember, we still have the limo. How can I forget? It's 60 bucks an hour. <laughs> Plus meals. What's up, man? Yeah. <laughs> so, you got Scully for the concert. Now that's it. Why are you so upset? I dress like Mulder for you. Okay, Gordon, get this through your head. You look nothing like David Duchovny. How about now? What a concert. We missed you guys during the intermission. Where were you? Oh, I don't see how. I was at the refreshment stand, the souvenir stand. Oh, yeah, the ATM. <laughs> <clears throat> Gordon Sherry, this is Jody Brownlee. Hey, meet your biggest fan. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> and this is Tiffany, Jody's daughter. Actually, my full name is Tiffany Brownlee Harrison. Well, that is quite a mouthful. Uh, you would know. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that was a shot. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, these are my friends. Could you be nice to them? Jay, don't stifle her. Tiffany's entitled to express herself. Yeah, I understand that. Okay, but these are adults. She needs I to think it's past somebody's bedtime. Ooh. Who asked you? You're not my mama. <laughs> Okay, I, I think it's time to take Tiffany home. Hey, check, please. You know my daddy. Hey, I'm the one that bought you tickets to see Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill? But what we said, it looked like Lauren Ant Hill. <laughs> She's quite a mouth on her, doesn't she? <laughs> Says the scrawny chick in the cheap wig. Hey, that's my wife you're insulting. And no one trashes the woman I love. <laughs> you know your hair's fake. How about the rest of you? Look, Missy. Hey, who are you calling Missy, lady? Who are you calling lady, lady? <laughs> She's calling you lady, Missy. Okay, okay. okay. Wait, 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 wait. That, that, that is enough. That's enough. Sherry, Sherry, I will handle this. And you know what? You two have been making me jump through hoops since the first moment I met you. And not once, not once have I heard the phrase, thanks, Jay. You know why? Because it's all about you two. Jay, if that's what you really think, you have a problem. Oh, no, you're right. I do have a problem. I'm a man, which basically means I will allow myself to endure any amount of abuse if that means making some kind of silly adolescent fantasy come true. But that does not give you the right to disrespect the people that I love. That's where I draw the line. So I'm just some pinup to you? No, you're the Nobel Prize winning scientist I always dreamt of being with, duh. Are you insulting my mother? This is grown up talk. You stay down there. <laughs> Come on, dear. We're leaving. Uh, are we taking the limo? No. It's Jay time now, and Jay says, hop home like a bunny. <laughs> Jay, are you all right? I cannot believe this. $600 in tickets, souvenirs, limousine. Hey, man, you off the clock. <laughs> And all I have to show for it are two soupy Sundays. So you had a few dates with the girl of your dreams. Was it worth it? <laughs> you know what? I think I much prefer Jody on my wall. That's why I never want to meet David Hasselhoff. It's a long story. <laughs>
Oh, shield me. This is Jody's ex. Hey. I heard you told off my ex-wife the other night. Well, uh, I, I didn't exactly. <laughs> I didn't exactly tell her off so much as I just offered her a few bits of constructive parenting advice. You? Yeah. <laughs> did he or didn't he tell off my ex-wife? Yes, sir, he did. <laughs> Look, man, please. <laughs> Don't make me have to use this napkin holder. I don't want to hurt you. I want to shake your hand. What? Man, I've been wanting to read her the riot act for years, but uh, between you and me, the sex was just too good. I know, hey, hey, man, wait, can, can I ask you one question? When you guys, you know, does she wear the Shirley outfit? <laughs> All the time. <laughs>